Hey guys, Matching Nazi here today with January favorites. So I guess we could start with makeup first. Um, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you, like myself, watch a lot of different videos on YouTube. So we always stumble across a lot of cool products that you can use to do your makeup and have it look good and everything like that. So the number one thing that I have been seeing on um, YouTube would be this right here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip Pomade and I got mine in dark brown. Usually I don't like to get sucked into videos because it's like, eh, everybody's using it but it's like really expensive. This pack right here cost me like, what, 16, 17 dollars to buy this little thing. But honestly, it's definitely worth the hype. This is exactly what it looks like. Y'all probably can't see that, but it's just like a regular little pomade where you would just, you know, wipe your little brush in there, you would put it on, and I love it. Like, it's really good for your eyebrows. It really, really mimics your hair, especially if you are, you know, struggle eyebrow hairs like me. I have an issue with over plucking. So this is really good. You do not need a lot, and honestly, it's going to last you for a good so, time. Something else that I have been really liking would be this palette right here. I got this palette in my, um... What is it called? Boxy Charm. That's what it is. I got this palette in my, I think it was the December Boxy Charm. And this is the Revealed palette. I've seen this a lot on YouTube as well. I honestly thought it was from Urban Decay. I didn't know it was from Co uh, Coastal Scents. But it's from Coastal Scents. And this is their 20 um, shadow eye colors. And this is their palette. And I think this might be like the Naked palette. But it has a lot of new, you know, kind of neutral colors in there. And I actually use it to do, you know, like my eye look today. So it came out really nice and for it to be from Coastal Sense, I was like, yeah, these colors are like really pigmented. I did it for my makeup today and I love it. So this is a close-up shot of my makeup today and as you guys can see, my eyes look a little bit different here. I got these from MyEyeColors.com. I had another video where I did a look for hazel eyes. I'll leave that video down below and a lot of you were like, where did you get your contacts from? So I got these um, from them and they're really good like i like the fact that you know they don't look too fake it's like a three blend kind of color so you can sort of you know have more of a natural appearance with the eyes i think it's pretty cool just to like switch up your look and i got them in i think it's true hazel right now I'm wearing sterling gray and then they also have and then i also have an evergreen and i love this particular one because they do send you the little packets my regular packet holder for my lens those are filled so it's really neat that they sent you know a little thing to hold your contact lenses because right now I have two of them in the same one it's probably not good I got this uh, particular one from Calvin Klein and I got this in my ipsy bag and this is in the color tender this just gives my lips like a really nice soft nude subtle kind of look to it and it just made me think like i really really like like it just has a really soft sensual look and really plays up a nude look so i was like this is next awesome. favorite that i have here is from mac and this is their one of a kind um lipstick so this is the color right here hopefully you guys can sort of kind of see i know i'm kind of far but this is what i have on my lips today so anytime i'm going for like a nude the perfect combination would be one of a kind and then tender by calvin klein so these are you know my duo when it comes to doing any sort of neutral nude lip next step would be fashion i guess we could certainly get into fashion I do want to show you guys some boots. I've been wearing a lot of different... I've been trying to get back into like my outfit of the days. I know some of you were like, Nels, you kind of slacking. Where are they at? So, and you know, we're in the cold of months. Like if you are in New York, you know, it's like freezing. It's like 12 degrees outside. So I do have a couple of boots. I didn't really want to get another pair of Uggs because it's like, eh, you know, Uggs are getting kind of played out to me. So I like to get boots where I feel like they're warm, but they're still pretty stylish. That's like my biggest thing when I go shopping for boots. So I got these boots from JustFab.com. The thing that really, really had did it for me would have to be the strip that they have right here, which is the red. It just really did it for me. Like, I don't know. It's like the simple, you know, style of the boot itself. This is what it looks like. And then when I actually wear it, it's like, it, I don't have like that really weird roomy gap in between them. And they just fit my calves just perfectly. And they kind of make me look a little bit taller. So I really love these boots. Now, the next thing that I want to show you guys would be this purse right here. I have been running this purse like crazy. I actually put it on my Instagram page and a lot of you were like, I've seen this purse before. I have it. 
I love the color. This purse is from Chemical Reaction. So I've been using this purse like every day. This is like my everyday purse. I love this bag. It is so cute. It's very, very efficient as far as getting all of my crap. I have some of my crap in here from work. And as far as the pockets go, it has a pocket right here, which is currently being filled by tissue. It also has a compartment here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Two compartments here for like your phone, your lipstick, and then you guys see it's like a spacious compartment. I just have my umbrella and my wallet in here. So I probably wore this yesterday since my wallet's in there. So this bag has just been really good as far as, you know, just carrying everything. It's a nice little purse. It really gives it like a pop of color to most outfits that you're wearing. And I just felt like the blue colors is perfect for like, you know, the winter months. So I've been wearing this purse like crazy. And I only, I got it for like, what, 30 bucks? So yeah, I've been loving this purse. And these are my little earmuffs. Like I said, it's been really, really cold here in New York. So Usually with my hair, it's not really getting under a hat. Like my hair is like, nah, we can't really do that. So I wear earmuffs. They're really good as far as like with the temperatures. And of course they're stylish too. You were asking, how do you get your hair under the earmuffs? Honestly, all I do is I just go like this, move the hair, go like this, slide it on. And that's all I do. Like it's pretty simple as far as how I get my hair um, you know, on or I get my earmuffs on. And these are from Forever 21. They're just these little furry earmuffs here. So if you are a natural or you are a curly haired girl, this is something that will be awesome for you. As you guys can read, hopefully it's not like, you know, reverse, but it says curls on fleek. So y'all yeah, know that fleek has been like one of these up and coming terms like last year or being in 2014. I don't know when it came out, but fleek has just been for everything. So I got this particular tee from GlamHerTees.com. It's that like have little slogans and things that's linked to like natural hair, curls, anything like that. So I got this one in black and I just thought it was so, so cute and I will be wearing it very soon. So I got my shirt. As far as how the shirts fit, this is a medium. It is a bit roomy. So if you feel like you can go down a size, you can go down a size smaller. But this one is a medium. It fits like a medium, but it could also fit a little bit like a large so it honestly depends on your frame so it looks like we're just about almost finished with the phase we're going to get into technology if some of you have been avid watchers of my channel you usually are able to notice when certain things change it would be my lens i also briefly spoke about this in my um what i got for christmas i told you guys that i treated myself to a new camera lens so this is where all the quality is coming from right now i am using my sigma 30 millimeter lens and it has been everything to me because basically as far as like the aperture it helps as far as getting that really nice soft you know background here where it's like blurry they call it the blurry effect this is me using natural lighting but then i use my ring light it just works well with every single equipment that i already have for you know my channel so that's why i got this lens and i did get it from amazon i believe it was like 365 for the lens but it's it's well worth it and it came with like this little neat pouch that it came in too so that's one of the tech things um you guys recently know i started vlogging once again thanks to you guys i did decide to get a camera and from canon and this is their canon power shot uh elph 1151 or is that 15 is i have no idea it has an eight times optical zoom so it's pretty good for vlogging it's it's really efficient like it's a great camera the battery life is pretty good the color is really cute too so this is my vlogging camera and honestly the quality on this thing is pretty darn good like it's a really really good quality so this is the camera that i got the next thing for tech stuff i want to show you guys would be this right here this little thing i can't tell you how much this has made my life so much easier this is just a regular little um what is this uh what is it it's a remote <laughs> for my canon camera it really helps as far as adjusting my quality taking pictures i'll show you guys what i mean i'll take a picture right now in the video i guess it could be like the the thumbnail for the picture so i'll just do that right now so i just took a picture with it and as you guys can see it takes pictures it focuses and it just makes my life so much more easier because if you are a vlogger like me and it's like a one woman or man show you have the one to do the filming you have to do the editing you have to be the photographer so it's like this really really helps me out so i got this particular remote and it was like 20 bucks on amazon.com and it is for my canon camera these two video games right here Back when I had my PlayStation 3, I was playing this right here, and this is called Beyond Two Souls. This is an amazing, amazing video game. It is so freaking awesome. I love it, and I will be doing a game review on it. She has a paranormal power where 
she has the ability to like uh, left lift things so what do you call it like not telekinesis but you know when you're able to like lift things and stuff she has that power where she's able to move things with her mind she's able to like you know bring stuff to her all these different things she can really control it and most people think that it is just her having the power but it's actually like this kind of spirit you know like it's like a spirit and he has a name his name is Aiden so it's like it's like really awesome it's a great game you go through it the government is trying to like use her to like do their dirty work and use the power because it's like what would you do if you had like the power of like lifting things with your mind like what would you do with it you know you could think about all the different things that you could do with it like I'm thinking you know bad like I might hit up an ATM you know get some cash out but <laughs> That's what, that's basically what the government is trying to do when they get in contact with her. The game is like her run from the government and I love it because it's in different sequences as far as like when she's younger, how her childhood was and how her parents dealt with her having these powers and I'm not really understanding what the heck is going on. Like are you possessed? Are you the demon city? Like they didn't know. So it's a really great game. You guys should check it out. I got it for like probably 25 bucks or maybe 30 bucks on Amazon.com. Great games. Definitely needs to get it. Now I also upgraded to the PlayStation 4 for Christmas. My awesome mother got me the PlayStation 4 and of course, of course, I had to get GTA 5, also known as Grand Theft Auto. There's not much to say about Grand Theft Auto. If you were a gamer, you know exactly what it's like. You go around, you shoot, you steal, you kill, you get money. <laughs> like It's like just living the life of like a gangster, a thug or whatever. But it's a great storyline. You get to dip in and dip out just like in, you know, Beyond Two Souls of different um, point of views of different characters. From what I know for the one that they remade for PlayStation 4, the first person mode is supposed to be very much realistic. The graphics are absolutely awesome. Like on the PlayStation 3, it was pretty good. But it's like on the PlayStation 4, you can really see the features on these characters. And it's just like... I thought you were cute when I was on the PlayStation 3, but now that I got better graphics, I'm like, eh, no. So the graphics are really good on here. I do think that they have different things that you could do, like as far as playing multiplayer online and everything. So I'm interested in trying it out and I haven't beat it yet. So I'm really interested in seeing more of this game. I have continued to pick up on the series with, uh, what is her name? Denise Glover Swank. And I am on her third series of um 30 and a half excuses i know i had a couple of books on here where i did tell you guys about you know the books i was reading and one of them is with uh rose gardner and she just has like the same thing like it seems like everything in this video is about powers but she has the power of like having visions and things like that and in the past series she has like uncovered murders and different things so now in this particular one she is investigating a um uh, televised preacher and he just seems like you know he's a little off and he's kind of like you know trying to embezzle women out of their money and out of their wealth and their home so it's just like she's like you know I know you're a preacher I know you're supposed to be good but I'm not I'm, I don't know I don't trust you so you're just going through the different you know um trials of what she goes through there's also a new guy that I feel like she kind of should get with and leave her man for but you know I'm trying to see where she's gonna go with this so it's really good and I'm really enjoying this series and it doesn't seem like it's getting boring or anything so I really love it and like I said I connected with the character from day one so I'm very much interested in finishing this one. so I want to show you guys this this one is really known for like being popular for like gelato and different ice creams like this but this is actually there's so I think it's sorbeto sorbeto I don't know so this is this particular one and this is number 22 I had no idea that they actually had different numbers until I watched Evelyn from the internet and she said that she was trying all of them and I was like wait wait they have numbers i have to try them all so i've been trying to at least try the ones that i've liked so far i tried the pistachio i have tried the caramel i've tried the black cherry and i've tried the mango now i have to say the mango number 22 absolute favorite of the whole entire line of ice cream just so so good but there was one time I had went to uh, Pathmark and they didn't have this one I wish I had it with me but I don't that one is cool I think it's Chow Bella or something like that it was a mango that one was honestly better than this one I'm just saying but <laughs> this is usually the one that I get and this is their Alfonso mango so 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 good this is like five dollars and change for like a one pint it's absolutely worth all of the money so I love this one it's like my guilty pleasure Next, I've been drinking Boost, which is like a meal in a little 
bottle here so this is supposed to be like a meal supplement usually with me I'm on the go you know I gotta get up early six o'clock in the morning I don't really have time to eat so I like to make sure I have a little bit something in my stomach because I'm doing a lot of walking commuting things like that so I usually just grab one of these it's like a shake um you have to be careful because like I said it's a meal supplement so you can't just go drinking this every day because you will start to gain weight but it's really good as far as you know just putting some type of energy into myself it's like um it has 26 essential vitamins and minerals it says uh, muscle high quality protein fiber support digestive health and it's in the flavor very vanilla it's very good it's very uh, creamy it's very smooth it's just tastes really good so I missed like two months of these faves so I had a lot more things to show you guys let me know if you have used any of these or if you have any more recommendations for like video games food anything like that or if you have loved anything that you saw in here i appreciate you guys for watching thank you so much and of course i will see you guys in my next video bye